sixth grade, module five, lesson three, classwork. Exercises. Number one, work with a partner on the exercises below. Determine if the area formula, area is equal to one half base times height, is always correct. You may use a calculator, but be sure to record your work on your paper as well. Figures are not drawn to scale. Okay. So, the area of two right triangles. So what we're going to do is solve it first by finding the area of the two right triangles we see here. So what I see is a right triangle here, so that's A, and then another right triangle right here, that's B. So they both have right angles. I'll put this one in blue. So we have right triangle A and B. So let's start with A. So one half of the base times the height. So the base is nine. The height here is 12. One half times nine times 12. And we can use a calculator, which is wonderful. One half uh, times nine. So I'll do 0 0.5 times nine times 12 and we get 54 so that is equal to 54 centimeters squared so then if I do B this other one in blue the area is equal to one half and here we have the base is 12 and 6 tenths times the height is 12. So let's solve that with the calculator. I'm going to do 5 tenths or half times 12 and 6 tenths times 12 and we get 75 and 6 tenths. centimeters squared, and then if we add those together, we get 129 and 6 tenths centimeters squared. Now let's find the area of the entire triangle. So what I'm going to do is find the area of the whole base, because we're still going to do area is equal to one half base times height. So we're going to find the area of the entire base, or find the area, find the length of the entire base. So I'm going to add the nine centimeters and twelve and six and ten centimeters together, and I get twenty-one and six tenth centimeters. So the whole thing is twenty-one and six tenth centimeters, and then the height is twelve. So the area is equal to one half times 21 and 6 tenths times 12. So half times 21 and 6 tenths times 12 gives me 129 and 6 tenths centimeters squared. And these two are equal. So we got the same thing by splitting into two right triangles or just finding the area of the entire triangle. So let's see if that stays this case on the next one. Okay, so I'm going to do this right triangle first. So the area would be equal to 1 half times the base, which here would be 8, times the height, which is right here, 5 and 2 tenths. So 1 half times 8 times 5 and 2 tenths. Half times eight times five and two tenths. And we get twenty and eight tenths. Feet squared. So let's do the next one. This one right here. So here the area is equal to one half times the base. Here the base is three and nine tenths times 
times the height is still 5 and 2 tenths. So half times it was 5 and 2 tenths was the height times 3 and 9 tenths was the base. So we get 10 and 14 hundredths. So if we add those two together, 20 and 8 tenths plus 10 and 14 hundredths, we get 30 and 94 hundredths feet squared. So let's see if that's what we get when we do the whole area at once. Okay, so the base is this entire thing. So let's do eight plus three and nine tenths. That would be 11. So area is equal to one half times eight plus three and nine tenths. Eight plus three is 11 plus the nine tenths. So the whole thing would be 11 and nine tenths feet. And then the height is five and two tenths. So half times 11 and 9 tenths times 5 and 2 tenths gives me 30 and 94 hundredths. Feet squared. And those again, those are equal. Okay, let's do this next one. So we have one very large right triangle and another very skinny small and skinny right triangle so let's i'll start with the skinny one so the area is going to be equal to one half so here the base is five sixths times the height is right here where it creates a right angle a perpendicular line so two and five sixths so one half times five six times two and five sixths. Calculator and I'm gonna, I'm just using this basic, you can see the thing, I think it's called the calculator. I mean, you can find it. I'm not paying anything for it. This is the free version, but I'm gonna go down here in the right bottom corner. It says fraction and it'll turn it into a fraction calculator. So I can do one half times five sixths times uh, it was two and five sixths. That's equal to one and 13 70 seconds. Inches squared. So then I'll do the other larger one. That area would be equal to one half times the base of that one is two times the height is two and five sixths. Clear that so we have one half times two times two and five sixths. And we get two and five sixths. Which makes sense because one half times two is one, so those basically cancel each other out, and we're just left with two and five six. So our last step is to add those together. So do two and five sixths. I'll put the label on there. Plus one and thirteen seventy seconds is equal to. Just add that two and five six plus one and thirteen. 70 seconds equal to 4 and 1 70 seconds. Inches squared. 
Okay, so now let's do the whole thing at one time. So area is equal to one half times the base times the height. So one half times the base would be two, and then this little part is two and is five sixths. Though so together it's two and five sixths times the height is two and five sixths. So one half times two and five sixths times two and five sixths. So one half times two and five sixths times two and five sixths gives us four and one seventy second. So the area is equal to four and one seventy second inches squared, which is equal to what we got when we did two right triangles. Okay, so last one. Start with the two right triangles. I'll start with this one. So the area is gonna be equal to one half times the base, which is 34, times the height, which is 32. So one half times 34 times 32 is 544. meters squared and then the other one the area is equal to one half times the base which is 12 times the height is 32 so one half times 12 times 32 is equal to 192 meters squared, and if I add those, I get 736 meters squared. So now let's do one whole, the whole triangle all together. So the base is 34 plus 12. which would be equal to 46. So one half times 46 times the height here is 32. Equals 736 meters squared and again those are equal. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it all together and it's gonna ask us, can we use the formula area is equal to one half base times height to calculate the area of triangles that are not right triangles? Explain your thinking. So basically what we just did, if it's not a right triangle, if it's just a regular just a triangle, does that formula, one half base times height, work? Well, here, it worked, we got the same here, it works, they're equal, they're equal. So I would conclude that yes, we can. So let's say, yes. The formula one half base times height can be used for more than just right triangles. The tricky part is you must be able to determine the height. if it's not one of these side lengths. So 
So like for example, if we had a triangle like this, we can do base times height, but you just need to be able to measure the height there because it's not one of the side lengths. So as long as you can do that, you can find the area with that formula. Example in the given triangle and expression. So we have a triangle, the height looks like it's four, the base is right there, so they have one half, 11. So where'd that 11 come from? Well, that came from three plus eight is equal to 11, times the height is four. Explain what each part of the expression represents according to the triangle. So we kind of just did that. So 11 feet is equal to the base which was three feet plus eight feet. And the four feet represents the height um, and it's the height because it's perpendicular to the base. Number four, Joe found the area of a triangle by writing area is equal to one half 11 times four, while Caitlin found the area by writing area is equal to one half three times four plus one half eight times four. Explain how each student approached the problem. So what Joe did is Joe found, combined the two, and he did the whole triangle. So Joe combined the two bases and then calculated the area. Wow, who was the other person? Caitlin split it into two right triangles. to find the area and then added those together. Number five, the triangle below has an area of four and 76 hundredths square inches. If the base is three and four tenths inches, let H be the height in inches. Explain how the equation 4 and 76 hundredths is equal to 1 half times 3 fourths times h represents the situation. Okay, so well, we know that 4 and 76 hundredths inches, we don't know the height, but we know that the area is equal to 4 and 76 hundredths inches squared. Is equal to one half of the base, which is equal to three and four tenths times the height, which we don't know. So if we solve the equation, I'm going to do four and 76 hundredths is equal to one half times three and four tenths times height. So let's do one half times three and four tenths. Oops, times three and four tenths will be equal to one and seven tenths. So four and 76 hundredths is equal to one and seven tenths times the height. And so now I'm just gonna divide by one and seven tenths. Remember when we were solving equations in the last, last module? So those cancel out. And so our height is gonna be four and 76 hundredths divided by one and seven tenths. I'm gonna go back to my basic. So we have four and 76 hundredths divided by one and seven tenths. 
we get 2 and 8 tenths. So the height would be equal to 2 and 8 tenths inches.